convenient Google search. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used it, just because I'm so used to going right to the browser here, which brings me to the browser. And the browser is awesome. The browser is a variation of Chrome, and it's a variation of the same operating system used on Android phones. And it's, it's great. It's fast. It's fluid. You can... There's your home, your home screen here includes blocks for your most visited sites. Or if you want, you can even customize it and put in your favorites there if they don't end up there. So you'll see the browser is extremely fluid. It follows precisely. Your pitch to zoom is great. And uh, a good tip here is you can see that for some of these, the text goes off the edge of the screen here. Okay, there we go. So if you just double tap anywhere on the screen, it will automatically shrink things to fit however far you have it zoomed in, which is a great feature and I use it a lot. That way you can see you can see text really large. So that's certainly nice. The tab to browsing is great. You can have lots and lots and lots of tabs open, and that's due to the high amount of RAM and the dual-core processor. There are alternative browsers, and one of the most popular of which is called Dolphin, I'm sorry, Dolphin HD, which I do have here, somewhere around here. Dolphin. This is also a pretty nice browser. It has some good visual effects to it. Uh, it's very smooth also. There's no lag. It's, it's quite good, but I tend to stick with the default Google browser. Another big perk to owning the Motorola Zoom. Yeah. Another big perk of Android devices is Google Music, and this is actually open to the iOS as well, I believe. But anyway, this is the Google Music app. This is not, this actually comes built in to the Motorola Zoom, but it's the newest one. So if you have a Droid X or any kind of the last generation Androids, it will come with a different music app, especially if it's uh, got Moto Blur or HTC Sense. But anyway, uh, this is a great app because none of this music that you see here is actually on this device. None of it. This is all going through my Google Music account. So all of this is streamed instantly through the internet, which is awesome. So I can pull up any song in my entire library anywhere I am. I did that, and that actually makes me think of another thing here. You can actually tether the Wi-Fi Zoom. Okay, so you can, and you can do this without paying the monthly fee for tethering. And it's not a workaround, it's not any kind of a special app, it's a built-in feature with Honeycomb, which is really interesting. So you go into your settings here, and you turn on Bluetooth. And you can tether your phone, your smartphone, to your Zoom through Bluetooth, and it will use the connection from your cell phone and stream it to this. So you can have internet wherever you go. Now there was a glitch that was introduced in the latest Android update for the, the Zoom, the 3.2 Honeycomb, where once you disconnect from the Bluetooth, it will not work again until you restart the Zoom. It did not used to do this, I'm not sure what, it's a, it's a really strange glitch. But the point is you can tether via Bluetooth, and I'm sure Ice Cream Sandwich, when Android 4.0 comes out, and the Zoom will be getting Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0, by the way, that has been uh, guaranteed to all Zoom owners by Google. Um, but once Ice Cream Sandwich comes out, I'm sure that will fix any issues, assuming there's no updates in between now and then for fixing that issue. But just a very good point that you can tether your Wi-Fi Zoom to any smartphone, or at least Android. I haven't tried it on any iOS devices and it is free, it does not cost you a monthly fee. Again, not really sure <laughs> how, how Google gets away with that in Android, but they do, so more power to them. As far as comparing it to other Android devices, uh, obviously for me, Zoom comes out on top, that's why I purchased it. It is the only one with pure Google Android. 
It's guaranteed to get ice cream sandwich. Not sure if the other ones will or not. I do not know. Oh, what else? And despite the weight, the build quality is impeccable. It's awesome. It's really, it's really nice. One other thing. One other thing people tend to find irritating is the startup time. And yes, the startup time is bad. Really bad. And for some reason it seems to be a lot faster on other tablets. Now, in this scenario I do have a lot of apps running and I have things running in the background and starting at startup and I got all these widgets and customization. And that does all contribute to a longer startup time. When I first got the Zoom out of the box, it booted up in probably less than a minute. Now it takes about two minutes and I do actually, I took a video of that which I will put up in the corner here. There we go. And you can just watch that while I continue rambling on here. As far as a comparison to the iPad 2, that's a tricky one. I like to be fair, I'm not, I, I will be perfectly honest and tell you right now, I'm not a fan of Apple and I never was. That's why I have a Droid X and that's why I have a Motorola Zoom. But there are other reasons other than that. The fact of the matter is, if you're a fan of iOS and Apple's products, that's perfectly fine. They, they make very good, solid products. The iPad 2 is, uh, has a very good build quality. It is very, very thin, which is nice. The screen is a, is a good, um, it's very vibrant, very nice. Uh, it does not have the same resolution as, as the Motorola Zoom or other Android tablets. It doesn't have the 720p high definition. I don't know if that's really a concern to you. That's really up to you. For me, the screen is one of the biggest things about it. In terms of memory, this has expandable storage. The iPad 2 does not, so you're going to have to pay extra if you want the 32 gig versus the 16 gig. And with this, you can get the 32 gig and then upgrade it to even more. You can upgrade it up to 64 gigabytes, which is awesome. Although it would be pretty expensive to get that 32 gig micro SD card. The fact of the matter is, you can, and it um, increases the how long the device can last and before it's considered outdated. You won't need to get a new device if you ever need to add storage. You can just get a micro SD card and pop it in there because they did add that, so that's nice. The dual stereo speakers are another thing that's really nice with the Zoom. They're loud, they're crisp, they're clear. The iPad 2 does have a better speaker though, but that's the problem. It only has one. It is mono, which is very surprising to me. You would think for such, you know, a premier, uh, premium device for such a premium price tag that they would have two speakers. I'm not sure why they decided that, but it only has one speaker and it's at the bottom. This has two and they're both on the back. So you're still dealing with that reflective sound, which I'm not sure why they insist on putting speakers on the back and relying on reflective sound instead of just putting them on the front, which would be very easy to do. I don't know why they do that. I don't know. So to wrap up, the Motorola Zoom is a very solid piece of hardware. It's very nice. It's fast. It's smooth. It's great. So if you got one, awesome. That's great. I I commend you. It's a very good choice. If you are th if you're on the fence about it, do some more research. Look at some other videos. See what other people tend to say, comparing them to other choices. And if you're if you're set on Android, uh, there's a huge market for Android tablets. So you can go to any Best Buy or any, any store like that, any kind of technological store, and they will have an entire row dedicated to Android tablets. So by all means, compare it to other ones. If it's not quite right for you because of the size or because of the weight, that's fine. It's all about what's right for you. That's what Android is all about. So I hope this video review has answered the questions that you may or may not have had. And if there's anything else you can post in the comments section, I will be happy to reply and answer to anything you ask. And most of all, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.